Yeah, I want to I want to see your box later after we're done see exactly how it works. Herb Box is an independent organic company bringing style and class to the cannabis community with an exquisite, superior handcrafted medical and recreational container for the consciously cultural professional and the stiletto stoner. Herb Box is breaking down the stereotypes while bringing social awareness and fashionable credibility to the cannabis movement and business. With your support, you will provide the love and nurturing that Herb Box needs in order to break out of the infant stage of the business process. Visit our website at HerbBox.com, which is H-E-R-B-B-O-X-X.com. There you can see our magnificent boxes, read our blog, sign up for our future newsletter, and inquire about any future career opportunities. And be sure to like us on Facebook. Once again, we would like to thank you, and HerbBox would now like to propose a toast to entrepreneurial freedom and forward thinking, which is all because of you. Cheers. Open up, Colorado. It's 420. Time to grind and burn. This is not your son, Stoner Show. Welcome to the Cannabis Community Project. This is Brainstorm, once again, bringing you your weekly broadcast podcast from the CCP Studios high up in Denver, Colorado, here exploring the business side of the newly emerging Colorado economy, focusing on the business, the patient, the user, to the retailer, to even the geek in the garage creating that next innovation in cannabis. This is the first media platform to help fellow cannabis entrepreneurs build sustainable businesses while living the lifestyle. The storm is coming, Frank says. The storm that will swallow the children. And I'll deliver them from the kingdom of pain. I'll deliver the children back to their doorsteps. I'll send the monsters back to the underground. I'll send them back to a place where... My whole mountains. show, just to give you a little, little base of it, is a show about the cannabis industry. So I, I focus on really the business side of the cannabis industry. What I want to do is really find the root of entrepreneurship and business through cannabis because my overall mission is to help people become self-empowered and self-employed using this industry which used to be a a barrier for many of us and and for many of us it was a barrier that kind of impeded certain parts of our life and forced certain things to happen that that maybe if we didn't have you know certain criminal charges or certain background history we could have been or done something different and now we have an opportunity here in Colorado but uh, one one of the ideas was to find an outlet that used to be a barrier and help people understand that here's an opportunity to become self-employed, self-empowered, but you don't necessarily have to be a business person, right? You don't have to, oh, I got, you know, I got the green finance, I'm, I'm looking at possibly an MBA program, forget all that. You know, you don't, you don't have to think of yourself as that way. What you have to think of it as, here's an opportunity to be employed in an industry that interests me and that I can thrive in and thus get away from the minimum wage fast food or, you know, the Conoco job and, and all of the other kind of non-opportunity type lifestyles that exist for people who maybe aren't aren't given the chance to go to school and become lawyers or, or whatever, but that doesn't mean you have to be stuck in, in a Absolutely minimum wage job. So that's kind of the, the base of the show. Uh, let me introduce, introduce myself. My name is Paul Isham. Uh, I am uh, the executive director of the Industrial Hemp Research Foundation. Uh, we're located here in the Denver area. And the Research Foundation was uh, co-founded by myself and a uh, gentleman who is a lawyer, but has converted his practice over to specifically focus on uh, hemp law, uh, hemp cannabis law. And uh, we 
are moving in the direction of uh, funding uh, at this point time academic and uh, educational projects related to industrial hemp. And if we continue to move down this track, we will probably expand our focus to go beyond university or academic research and move it into the, the commercial side of research. But, okay. but, but we all have individual lives. I, I'm in technology. David has a law practice. You have to start somewhere. Right. Uh, I'm sure if I dug deep enough, there would be some volunteer organizations that are you know maybe less mainstream than, than the ones that everybody knows. American Cancer Society, uh, Wounded Warriors. In the sense of bringing jobs to America, in a, you know, back to America that may be elsewhere. In the sense of bringing innovation into the agricultural community. In the sense of helping farmers across this country stop going bankrupt, be able to expand what they do for a living. I mean, case in point, David and I have a meeting on the 12th of June uh, with the mayor's office. Well, what, what is the long term here? What's the ultimate? Um, first of all, I'd love for the foundation to be successful. I, we wouldn't have done this if we if we didn't. Now, um, what would be a measure of success, seeing that it's a non-commercial, non-profit? Sure. Well, we, I mean, we established the foundation. We built a budget. We're targeting these first two projects. We're trying to be conservative about our growth because, again, it's a volunteer organization. Eventually, nonprofit organizations that get to a critical mass require full time you know, operational and management staff. We're not just selling marijuana. We're supporting research. Right. Yeah, you know, and there's some benefits to that. Using jobs and, and, and uh, revenue and benefits to this country. Excellent. Well, I appreciate you participating in my passion. Yeah, I, I love them. So I no, the, this this is a, a, a great medium. I, I like I said, I, I've been in radio before. It is probably the most convenient communication mechanism outside of the internet, and it was there first. You know. Well, you, you have definitely educated us today. Well, Hemp History Week uh, starts 6th of June. Well, why don't we end with all of your uh, information again? Sure. Uh, the website is www.vtheihrfoundation.com. I know that's a long one, uh, but there's also a Facebook link, so I encourage everyone to click on our Facebook page and like us. Hey, if you have an idea or some thoughts about business, or maybe you have a business you would like to promote on the show, contact me, brainstorm at cannabiscommunityproject.com. Dairy Berry's recording studio located in Arvada, Colorado, is your local recording studio with affordable rates. Mark is well experienced and will make your show, music, or any audio you have sound great. He makes our show come across the internet loud and clear every week, and he can do the same for your project or band. Take a look at Derry Berry's Recording Studio or call Mark at 303-456-8216. Feeling guilty about a time with cannabis? Get it off your chest and confess it on Canafessions. Your public forum to absolve your soul. New voice message, Wednesday, 4, 21 p.m. Hi, my name is Bob, and this is my can of fashion. I was on a family uh, vacation with my parents to Egypt, and I snuck away and uh, hung out with the Bedouins for a while and smoked hashish out of their hookah and had some fun. They were pretty mad when I uh, they found out they didn't get a go, so... Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. And that was Canafessions. If you have a confession to make, contact me via Facebook or the website at CannabisCommunityProject.com. Check, check. Yo. Check, check. Yo, Razor. 
I'm running with some of the endless flows A pro at bringing the ruckus We kill them all, bro, the fall Keeping this shit above it I buzz like a bumble Drop jaws whenever I rumble You said you write rhymes But it sound like you got carpal tunnel Or all flights is Yeah, so that like kind of goes back to uh, I think uh, youth A lot of people in my generation When marijuana was akin to stuffing straw in your mouth And setting it on fire It was pretty harsh and nasty stuff in those days Not like the, uh, the sweet buds we all uh, seem to see around town now <laughs> Hey everybody, this is David Bush of David Law. I'm in Colorado Springs at the U.S. Cannabis Expo. There's a lot of good people here, interesting things going on. Get the cake, you old best, but a better up too. We got the Mr. Beat you. Go ahead, a good law, it's me. Hi, my name is Doug Eccles. I'm with Aseptic Health, and we're here today talking about keeping grow facilities clean. We have a hospital-grade disinfectant product here that growers have reached out to us and asked us to apply and spray in their grow warehouses to make sure that we're keeping the mold, mildew spores out. The product has a lot of other general uses, but uh, that's what we're here today, just uh, kind of reaching out to the cannabis industry and uh, sharing our product. Thank you. We're on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, all those good things. You can go to Aseptic Health of Colorado and uh, our website's aseptichealth.com. What up, everybody? This is Dust WP with the Weed Pimp Nation. You can check us out at WeedPimpStore.com. We're here chilling on this wonderful day in Colorado Springs. Or you all get shot. Hello, hello. This is Bradley with Weed Wipes, the all-natural resin remover. We are the only ones in the market that are all natural and all organic. Weed Wipes, the all-natural resin remover. Thank you very much. All get shot. Bang. I am Ashley Weber, and I am here at the Canna Expo here in Colorado Springs. I am here with Parents for Pot Colorado. We were comp to booth here, uh, thanks to Melissa. And I brought my new product here. It is hemp oil, and it's uh, infused with coconut oil, and it's called Vihila. This product is really high in CBDs, as well as CBDA, and it also contains CBC, which is great for anxiety, as well as any type of arthritis. So you, it can be used topically, sublingual, as well as as many other ways as you'd like. And uh, I just want to let everybody know out there that there's an unlimited support Apply for 10 cents a milligram, which is, I think, a very good price out there. So I want to let everybody know that we finally have an unlimited supply of great hemp oil. You can find this at Facebook soon. It's called the Gila, T-H-E-H-I-L-A, and it's by Ashley Designs. And you can email me at ashleydesignsllc at gmail.com. Hi, my name is Allie and I represent The Triminator. We are a family-owned company out of Northern California and we design and manufacture dry and wet trimmers. We do have a website, www.thetriminator.com and transform the way you trim with us. Uh, Thank you. Independent forever, that's the vedetta, better bring berettas. I'm acting reckless, call the paramedics. You should diet if you're diabetic and you could die if you feel neglected. Cause in my city, gotta earn your stripes to feel respected. I'm next up, investing in and trying to to buy Colorado, that's the motherfucking model where I'm from. Every day yelling out, hey, go on the top of my lungs. I'm too Ill. Everything in excess. How's it going? This is Joe with the Pronet. We're out here at the U.S. Cannabis Expo in Colorado Springs. We're out here displaying our miniature e nails and our double display e nails. We have affordable American made e nails. Everything's warranted and everything is ready to use, ready to go. You can also uh, see us on Instagram at, uh, at the Pronail and our website's thepronail.com. Hey, it's good uh, catching up with you here today. I appreciate you taking a moment, stopping by the Grow Warehouse booth down here in Colorado Springs at the Cannabis Expo. Okay, we were here yesterday and we're here through 5 o'clock today and just really getting to meet some good people trying to build community effort here. You know, sometimes we can take second stage in Colorado Springs, but we got a good thing and a good community just kicking butt. Grow Warehouse, just to touch on what we do is we provide grow supplies for uh, hydroponics, organics, and uh, every other cutting edge products that is coming out. Now, I have two locations down here delivered from Denver to Pueblo and uh, would love to an opportunity to talk with anybody looking to either optimize their garden or just even get started. You can reach out to you know growwarehouse.com, find us on Instagram, or even give me a shout at either of the two stores. But all that dish up there, I don't pay it no mind, man. 
Cause my mind, I'm always focused on grinding All of those fake smiles All of those fake hugs I don't need your faith. Hello, I'm Ryan Moore from Herbal Healing. I am the owner and founder. Herbal Healing is a medical dispensary in Colorado Springs. We just opened two months ago. Uh, we're here to cater for a different market than most of these places. We're trying to give the best possible product you can buy. We're not cutting corners. We're hand trimming. We're not using pesticides. So we're trying to do things the right way. We're not looking things for a financial way only. We are looking things for the end consumer. Uh, we are all patients that started this uh, dispensary together. And so that's our goal is to give the consumer what we would want as a consumer. So you can check us out on Facebook book at Herbal Healing. Uh, we are also on Mass Roots, uh, Herbal Healing 719. Uh, we are also on Instagram at Herbal underscore Healing CO and Twitter Herbal Healing CO. I want to make great music, not fight a war. Hatters overseas, killing sprees, solve anything. Hackers make millions versus the homeless. Missing hey, it's Brandon Shepard with the Motopot. We're at the U.S. Cannabis Expo here in Colorado Springs. Having fun, meeting a lot of people. Hope to see you down here. www.motopot.com. M-O-T-A-P-O-T.com. No respect or regard for human laws. Who is this policeman to put me in restraints and metal bars? Who is a judge to give me time where I can jack to your organs to organ, then ship them back? Hey, uh, I'm Jason Worf. We're with the Southern Colorado Cannabis Council. Uh, we're out here at the expo this weekend, just trying to get the word out and spread a little more awareness. You can uh, reach us to become more involved at our website, sococc.org, or me personally at jasonwarf at yahoo.com. Well, hi, my name's John Story Brooks. I publish the MJ Directory. We are Colorado's marijuana phone book. We currently have over 1,700 marijuana businesses listed with us. We distribute the MJ Directory quarterly to physicians' clinics throughout Colorado. So when you get your physical once a year, you'll be given a copy of the MJ Directory. Next year you get your physical, you'll be given an updated copy. We also publish Colorado MJ News. So I email about 2,400 marijuana business owners every week, and we publish ColoradoTown.com with the largest online community directory in Colorado. Soon to get our 100 million hit. Go to MarijuanaPhoneBook.com or CannabisPhoneBook.com or HempPhoneBook.com or the MJDirectory.com. So my name is Ricardo Barons. I'm with the Coalition for Access Now, nonprofit organization, 501C4, nonprofit organization. That's uh, lobbying in Congress in Washington D.C. for a federal bill to deschedule CBD or cannabidiol and cannabidiol rich plants so that they're accessible for everybody around the country. You know, your health or your well-being doesn't, it doesn't matter what, what's your zip code, it's just your, this is available for everybody. The website, it's coalitionforaccessnow.org. You can sign there with Facebook, you can sign in with Twitter or, and you can actually sign a petition that goes to your congressman wherever you are, you know, you fill in your zip code and it goes directly to them supporting the bill. So you can actually do, you know, some support there. You can also make donations and uh, you know, support the bill that way. We have a House bill and a Senate bill. So, uh, the House bill is right now, it has 47 co-sponsors written uh, with Steve Perry from Pennsylvania. It's, it's getting a lot of traction. Actually, Paige is traveling tomorrow to D.C., so she's going to be working with, you know, getting more people on this. And uh, so, I mean, we, we're very positive. We think it's going to pass sometime this summer and get enough uh, people to, to co-sponsor. families in need, but now it's Homeowners Association. This is Jennifer and Holly coming to you from the realm of caring live at the U.S. Cannabis Expo. We'd like to encourage you to join our Fight for Access at www.fightforaccess.com. I'm Park Major. I'm with Veterans for Civil Rights. We're an organization fighting for veterans' rights, uh, whether it be cannabis use, uh, whatever the medicine be of their choice, whether it be gun rights. Uh, too many rights are being taken away from our veterans, and we're pushing as an organization to withhold or uphold veterans' rights. Uh, we're also fixing to merge with the uh, Week for Warriors project, open up at Colorado Springs Division for Week for Warriors and have monthly events to try to get, help out the veterans and give them a, an alternative to the prescription medications that they're on and uh, a safer alternative. 22 suicides plus a day is happening with veterans. 
Facebook. We're all over Facebook. <laughs> they don't civil rights is, and they've also got a uh, WeForWarriorsProject.org website. Claim coke dealers, but y'all call it drinkers. Y'all more square than five fingers. Now smack yourself. Y'all kids to me in this industry. I might grab my belt. What's the masses of following? Hi, this is Grant Orvis from the Colorado Hemp Cooperative. We were founded in March 20th, 2014 with the goal being to help farmers make more money per acre by being a member of the cooperative than if they were to do it on their own. And the number one way that we're able to do that is we own our own intellectual property and our own seed cultivars. At CO Hemp Co-op is the Twitter account. My name is Miguel Tully. I am the founder of GI Greens. We're cultivating a change for veterans, and I'm the COO of Natural Care, where we are educating and medicating with cannabis. Our contact information is gigreens.com, which will be up on July 4th. Currently, we're using a lot of social media platforms such as Instagram, Mass Roots, and Facebook. Hi, my name is uh, Jim Denny. I'm actually, I work uh, uh, for Mile High Hemp, or that's my company. And uh, we have a, a seed aspirator or a seed separator that we are using here to separate the seed from the uh, chaff material uh, for hemp. And it's uh, it just uh, the machine itself, the way it uh, runs, is it has negative pressure uh, using for the shop vac. Shop vac sucks, uh, sucks from one side, pulls it in, pulls the air up the, one of the channels. Uh, the heavier material drops down into the channel, which is the seeds, and uh, then the lighter material goes over to the other side. Then we have a door that's in the back where we open the door on the side just a little bit to alleviate some of the pressure, and that allows us to take more and more of the seeds that are on, that had gone to the other side and make them drop uh, into the bucket as well. Uh, website www.mhhemp.com. Uh, uh, and all my nieces I love the pieces, future queens. Hold your head to the heavens and follow your dreams. This is Ryan Croy with Water Pulse. We are a capillary irrigation mat company. Our mats are used in every single Walmart store across the country, and we are also used in dozens of cannabis grows across the world. And my contact information is rcroy at growermats.com or rcroy at waterpulse.com. And that's R-C-R-O-Y at waterpulse.com. Thanks and have a great day. Kind of crazy and I'm telling you the truth. I'm here. And how, and how do you think that I made it from here tonight? So I own and run a management and consulting company based out of Denver, Colorado called American Management. We've been using Water Pulse's grower mat since 2009 in the marijuana industry in a large scale environment. And my specialty is integrating them into the marijuana business and hopefully the hemp industry in the near future. I have a website, AmericanManagement.com, American with two N's, and it's Gavin at American Management. Uh, dot com for my email. In a zone, stay up in a zone. No two, three, but I'm in a zone. My zone, all up in my zone. Stay up in my, but I'm in my zone. McGuire, 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 McGuire. All right, I'm, my name is Joe. And I'm here at the U.S. Cannabis Expo. My company is Hey Joe Promos. That's H E Y J O E Promos.com. And I have a couple of good products that bong users would really love, especially at the Cannabis Cup or festivals that protect you when you take hits from germs. And I have bong protecting caps that you can put on to protect your bong at home from being broken or spill on your carpet. And you can seal it up and shake it like a martini and clean your bong in about 30 seconds rather than brush it all the time. Then my website again is www.heyjoepromos.com. Same thing on Facebook, Facebook slash Hey Joe Promos. Stay inhaling that cannabis. It's a habit that I can't break, and when it comes to that money, these none hustlers can't make no gorilla pimp, but I'm super smooth. Down to my Taylor Chucks, talk your bitch up out of thumb. All them French cuts, grind face, forever on. So obsessed with them dead dudes and them hate niggas, stay listening. 
I am Jason Ryder. I'm the owner of Thriving Systems Design and the maker uh, of the C-Byte, which is the world's first uh, stake grip that allows you to couple your stakes in any direction you want, tie off your lines, and support your heavy fruiting and flowering branches. You can check me out at c-byte.com or on Twitter at Thriving Systems. Yeah, what's up, YF? Ready to kill this shit? Census is the album. Let's get it. Yeah. Hello, my name is Donna Lydon. I'm a U.S. Army veteran, and I am putting a plug in for Operation Grow for Vets. Growforvets.org. Please visit our website. We're a nonprofit organization founded by Roger Martin, also a U.S. Army veteran. Our goal is to reduce the number of suicides among veterans, who the government says is 22 a day. We know is more like 55 a day. They did not include all of our states or the deadly drug cocktails that they are giving to us. We are kicking off a national tour starting July 1st in Oregon with their recreational legalization. We hope to help all the veterans and their families. Uh, please visit, visit our website and pass the word. Thanks for listening to this week's show. Make sure to come back next week. We're going to have more guests lined up speaking with dispensary owners, growers, business owners. Make sure to follow us on all of the social media, Facebook, Google+. You can listen to our shows live from the website or your preferred listening platform. Find us on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Spreaker, even YouTube, all under the same name, CannabisCommunityProject.com. We'll see you next week. Come on!